In this video, we're going to use Spectrum View to analyze the turn-on behavior of a spread spectrum clock. Let's go ahead and add a frequency measurement on channel 1 to learn at what frequency this clock is operating. Looks like it's centered around 98.5 MHz with a span of plus or minus 2. Turning on Spectrum View and double tapping on the Spectrum View Settings badge, we can center it at 98.5 MHz with a span of 7 MHz. Now there's the steady state behavior of our clock. One of the main benefits of Spectrum View when compared to a traditional FFT is that we have independent control of our RF settings and our time domain settings. I'm going to go ahead and change my horizontal settings so that we can see just a few clock cycles. And our spectrum is rock solid. Now when I try to take a really long acquisition, we can see still that our spectrum has not changed. We're going to use this capability to look at how the spread spectrum clock turns on when we apply power to our circuit board. I'm going to go ahead and unplug the circuit board, clear out our memory, and set up one single shot. As I plug the circuit board in, we'll analyze how the spread spectrum clock turns on. Using the zoom feature, I'm going to control exactly what time period is used to calculate our spectrum. Keep an eye on this yellow box which represents spectrum time. This is the portion of our acquisition where the I and the Q data for spectrum view is coming from. Watch how our spectrum changes as we move it around. Back here at the trigger point, it looks like our clock hasn't yet come online. Zooming forward to about 120 milliseconds, 200, and 280 milliseconds, no clock action yet. Around 300 milliseconds, we start to see some behavior in our clock, but it doesn't look like our steady state clock yet. Moving forward, it looks like over here around 340, 320 milliseconds is where we really see the exact behavior that we're expecting. Check out the data sheets for the 4 series, 5 series, and 6 series mixed signal oscilloscopes to learn more about what Spectrum View can do to help out your measurements.